Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ancient Maze of Mystery, where a few things have happened in between episodes. Namely, I've been playing a lot, and I have prepared a couple of characters, as you can see here. So, I guess this is a sneak peek uh, as to what is yet to come. Uh, we have Nira the Sixth, which I'm going to continue now. Uh, she's actually the latest of these three characters that I prepared. Uh, and all of them are doing great. Uh, actually, the Grey Elven Elementalist was just... I was just going for a random character. Uh, I went for complete, completely random generation, and it gave me a Grey Elven female spellcaster. Uh, that was so close to what I was really planning to do, you know, to have another necromancer to continue, that I almost went for that one, since... Let's be let's be honest. Let's let's face it. I have hardly been using the necromancy at all, and I've really been treating her as just another spellcaster. So elementalist is pretty close to that. Uh, but still, I, w I went ahead and made another necromancer after all, and she turned out all right. Of course, as you can see by the name suffix, um, there were a couple of Neras along the road that weren't quite as lucky. And then there's Tzotl, uh who was a misclick. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to completely uh, randomly generate a class there, but I did, and it gave me a, a male Dark Elven Beast Fighter, who turned out to be the most successful character I've ever had, and he is still alive, so uh, we're gonna see the continuation of his adventure, um, so God will, depending, uh, or rather, we will see him eventually, <laughs> The question is, uh, how long will that take? How long will Nira the Sixth actually survive? And without much further ado, we dive in here. Uh, she's currently in the Infant Dungeon. She's actually the first character that I ever spent any significant amount of time inside the in Infinite Dungeon. Because, I don't know, for some reason I was under the impression for the longest time that the Infinite Dungeon was kind of difficult, but it's really not. In fact, it's an amazing place to just spend time in a relatively safe environment as soon as your character has some standard, you know, some some level of of power and, well, survivability. But it's very sustainable. I mean, you can see here, she's level 11. She's, uh, I guess I can show you the character overview. Um, unfortunately, her her maximum stats aren't amazing in terms of physical abilities, but that's to be expected. Um, and obviously that's not her specialty. She has amazing uh, potential learning and mana. Of course, dexterity is also very good, I guess, for being an elf. Uh, appearance too, although appearance really uh, doesn't do a whole lot. She has decent hit points. She has good armor, actually. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, look at this. I only found this horned helmet very recently. Uh, stud leather armor uh, with plus three, plus three armor, and only a few negatives. Mythal girdle was an awesome find. Um, honestly, the leather cloak, yeah, I guess uh, I decided that plus one to dodge uh, is good enough. That I don't really care about the negative to hit, because she's hardly ever using her, her dagger. Yeah, that's the next thing. Um, I've not found it. An, an amazing one-handed weapon to replace her dagger with. I will though. Uh, I don't. I'm not planning to use to keep using a dagger forever. It's just that daggers aren't particularly powerful. So yeah, I'd rather give her some kind of sword, maybe some something one-handed. Basically, a ring of luck sounds good. Although I'm not entirely sure what it does. Ring of cold resistance is decent, of course. Fencing gloves. Not sure if they have any other effect beside what's obvious. I know that that kind of thing exists because. Uh, my beast fighter character actually has a shell armor, or a spider shell armor, or whatever it's called, that he started with for being a, a dark elf. That actually, or rather, he started with one, but I found another one, and that was a spider shell armor of power. Wait, is that right? Am I thinking of a different character? Um, I might be confusing him. Maybe that's the elementalist, actually. Anyway, it's some kind of armor of power that give, that only lists lists the normal stats, but uh, it actually also increases your power points, your spell power, or not spell power points, well, your mana, basically. Um, yeah, 
so that's the thing that that exists apparently. So maybe fencing gloves have actually actually have an effect on your fighting abilities, as the name kind of implies. Well, and that's pretty much it. I've really not been using her her uh, bow at all. I've only ga only gave that to her recently. Yeah, daggers and knives is only also only at level two, so it's really not too late to switch to a different weapon. But uh, obviously. M What's mostly interesting is her spells. Uh, she has her frost build already at plus 20. I've been using that mo almost uh, almost exclusively, and I'm one of the main reasons I'm here in the infinite dungeon at all. I guess I can finally start moving and doing things. Uh, see, we're at level two. Yeah, I guess we we might as well explore this level a little bit. Although I'm mostly using uh, mostly looking for levels with layers so I can, you know, uh, kill lots of enemies. I might also start. Delving a little bit deeper. Yeah, let's do that. You know, level three. Um, I think I read somewhere that level six is where uh, the danger level is starting to go up and slightly, and and you're starting to see more valuable equipment, perhaps. But of course, also more dangerous enemies. Okay, this is just one of these special rooms. Not getting the message of. Uh, Feeling a certain tension. Oh, right. Should probably switch to Berserk to kill these things. Oh, did I see a wear it? Hello. Okay, 21. A stone axe. Uh, that's pretty heavy. That's probably a two handed weapon. Oh, wait. Imminent danger, but the feeling passes. Alright. Uh, anyway, what did I want to say? So, yeah, maybe I'll dive into. This dungeon a little bit deeper to see if I can find good stuff. Basically, I'm looking for, mostly looking for scrolls, for spellbooks, and of course just general equipment and levels. I don't know. I haven't decided how much longer I, I want to stick around here. But basically, this is just, uh, in case you are not aware, uh, the infinite dungeon is, well, it is for all intents and purposes actually infinite, but the biggest difference between this one and other dungeons is that levels are not consistent, or persistent, rather. Meaning that, um, well, I can just demonstrate that because this floor doesn't seem particularly interesting. If you go back up, you s you're at a completely new level 2. And actually, oh, I should have st stuck around a little bit longer. That's, that's okay, I wanted to go down anyway. So, yeah, a new level 3 right here. That might have the layer that I'm looking for. They're actually pretty common. I guess I should probably also eat something. And I could resurrect a minion, but I haven't really come across anything. I guess I could have used that bugbear from the previous floor, but I mean, not that bugbears are that powerful. Yeah, let's keep going down. Level 4. Goblins and kobolds, I can just I can kill with my weapon. Oh, that's okay. Already burdened. I mean, that's not not too bad. She can still use, or she can still gain one more level of strength. Um, I guess I haven't showed off my entire uh, my entire equipment or inventory. Uh, I have a teak wand that I I'm not sure if I even used it once. I might not have um, some potions, including one um, holy water, which is amazing. And she has lots of food, including lots of uh, herbs, specifically. And um, yeah, the good thing about that is that, let's see here, uh, pepper petals heal for a decent amount. Uh, Curaria mancox heals uh, sickness, which is uh, very useful. Stomophilia is, of course, um, a herb that, uh, well, fills your stomach, as the name implies. Uh, so that's a very lightweight way of uh, keeping food around, keeping your, well, keeping you uh, satiated. Aronia antidotes are antidotes. And yeah, so we are very well off in terms of uh, healing, nutrition, and even healing status effects. 
Um, let's see here. Right, I have been using Magic Missile a little bit. I only found a little. Uh, I only found a single spellbook of Magic Missile. We do have the Invisibility spell, which is. Uh, I don't know. It might be very useful. I've not really been using it much. In fact, I've not been using uh, the spell at all. I think. I guess I might as well give it a try. Oh, oh, that's what. Which direction? Uh, myself? Ah, you can make other things invisible. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what this does for me. I mean, I suppose maybe it makes me harder to hit. And if I don't just run headlong into enemies, it probably means that uh, they might not see me. I guess <laughs> that's that seems to be the the main use for an invisibility spell or potion. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not trying to be stealthy. Really, hi there. Several items. A round key. Uh, yeah. Why not? Iron boots. Well, my leather boots are are decent, but iron boots might be more protective. They're not, surprisingly. Hmm. Okay. I'm not too worried about cursed items right now. Um. If I really, really need to get rid of something terrible, I can uh, always use my holy water. Sandy potion, that sounds awful. I think that's just a, a bottle full of sand. I think I've had that before. I feel altered. Um, okay, I guess that was something different. Altered, huh? I can't help to n but notice... Oh, what? I now have 99 max health, but only 87 power. What? But my stats have also changed. The hell? My mana went down by 10 points. But my strength did not go up. Toughness? Did toughness go up that much? Uh... Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll take it. I still have... Plenty of yeah, my my uh, my skills are still the same. Okay, hmm. I mean, I, I I'm glad about them. The extra health for sure. And my spell power is actually actually decent. I mean, I don't typically need to use more than one spell to kill any given enemy, or maybe two spells. Maybe if I find a, a large lair. That can be different, but I can always retreat and, and regenerate. With Concentration 100, it refills so fast that it's usually not an issue. I have not found the next stairs. Okay. I will say that it uh, is significantly harder to concentrate uh, while also trying to, uh, you know, provide commentary. Such as it is. Um, excuse me? That's very rude. There. Uh, several items. Hand crossbow. Hmm. I don't know. You are a dark sage, is that right? Oh, a female doppelganger. That's much worse. But you're dead. That's just a quarrel. Hmm. I mean, I could stick around here a little bit. Let my newly gained uh, hit points refill. Oh, grinding some in, different, in, the, in the distance. That means something is tunneling through walls. Okay. Werewolf is not dead? No, it is. Yeah, okay, we're not going to be leveling up for a while. Why? That was a lot of wolves. My 
magic missile plus seven. Nice. Can I kill a wolf like this? I probably can. Yep, sure enough. There's up to three. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to switch to a different weapon, as I said. So, doesn't really do much. Heavy boots might, might be good. And they're not. They're also not cursed. So let's go back to the leather boots. Actually, drop the other ones. Oops. Drop a. Hmm. I did pick up this iron ration, which made me burdened. Well, I guess I'll stay burdened until I gain another point of health. Okay, grinding sound. Uh, not health. God damn it. Uh, strength is the word. Oh, wow, I one shot that berserker. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even have fighting. Uh, have been fighting that one. Uh, yeah, whatever. I uh, shouldn't have been fighting that one physically, but I did, and it worked out somehow. I don't know. I I guess I have a ton of health now. I even have. Wait, how did I get an extra point of armor? Huh? Do you get natural armor from extra? Wait a second. Uh, from from higher toughness, or did I actually grow some kind of scaly skin or something? Hmm. I don't think there is a way. No, this just shows me my talents. Hmm. I don't think there is a way to to see that kind of. Intrinsics without a, a potion of insight or the um, revelation spell, I think it's called. Okay. That's. Oh, that's just. Okay. Um, just a dark elven mage that summoned a bunch of spiders, looks like. Yeah, he resists, of course. Oh, I was hit by my own magic missile. Yeah, yeah. Should be using either the uh, frostbolt or be doing this. Can I? Is he just resisting? I avoid his blasts. That's nice. Screams words of magic. He's hit by it. Seems to shrug it off. Okay. I think that's just a matter of. Trying until it actually. Yep, okay. Until he does not resist. Okay, not spider corpse. Whatever. Crude knife. Um, I can probably. Uh, my hit points are not full, so I'm not going to take any risks and fight things physically when I don't need to. Okay, something was tunneling around here. Hmm. But it doesn't seem to be around anymore. That's strange. Also, beam spells do deal more damage up close. So, what is that? A white. Oh. Sounds bad. Wasn't that bad, I guess. Hmm. Well, we are. Getting some experience, slowly but surely. Not sure if it's worth sticking around on this level, although it's mostly mostly explored at this point, so I might as well finish the job. Uh, so yeah, I usually let enemies approach, unless they're really dangerous. Just to make sure that I actually one-shot them. Actually, goblins I can just... Even, even not goblins I can just kill with my sword. Uh, dagger, rather. Oops. Okay, and that's that. Can I... Can you not? Okay. Apparently the pathfinding was unable to move to the stairs for some reason. 
Uh, that's a caveman, I think. Cavemen are resistant to frost. Also, this one doesn't either doesn't see me or care about me. Well, let's just magic missile him. And dropped a large ration. Yeah, I could eat that one. Okay, that's just a giant lizard. Not too bad. I would really like a couple more spellbooks of Frostbolt. That's one of the main things I'm uh, looking out for. Also, you know, different distant wind, hmm. uh, different spellbooks, of course, as well. But really, mostly my go-to spell because, well, I've only found like one or two in addition to the one I started out with. I'm not even sure. And I'm pretty sure this character actually started out pretty terribly. In fact, I I did not have very high hopes for this one. Um, because, uh, well, you as you might know, you start, as a necromancer, you start with, a f always start with Frostbolt and one random other book. However, in this character's case, it was not another spell book. It was a book of... Uh, I don't know, of, of uh, Confucius' uh, sayings or something like that. So, yeah, that was uh, kind of lame. And that one also disappeared after reading it three or four times. So that was uh, entirely useless. Yeah, um, and as you can see, well, I did I did find one or two more Frostbolt books, which gave me a, a good amount of uh, spell casts, but I would just like a bigger, well, a bigger stock of those. And I found a single book of Magic Missile, which, you know, I've been using a little bit, as you can see. And, of course, the invisibility that, I don't know, I feel like it can probably be used for all kinds of advanced strategies that, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll see a situation where, where it feels like I need to evade some kind of powerful enemy... That's maybe in between me and the stairs. You know, that kind of situation. I can see that being useful, for sure. A thundering explosion. Distant wind. Huh. I mean, I'm sure that means something. What? A doppelganger corpse. Suddenly everything is engulfed in a huge fireball. Okay. I guess it's... It died to a trap? Oh, an explosion trap. Well, that's nasty. I guess I should have figured as much. Hmm. Thankfully, it didn't deal that much damage, or rather, I have enough hit points to not die to that. I went about half health at this point, though. So I need to be a little bit careful. Bit of candy. Yeah, sure. Let's eat that. Oh yeah, this character... Right, right, right. Okay. Another thing. You might notice that this character is not chaotic. Uh, necromancers usually start as chaotic. Uh, and the healer in the village dungeon does not teach chaotic characters healing. And of course, necromancers do not start with that skill. In fact, this one character doesn't have it yet. However, there are ways to change your alignment, at least relatively early on. And I actually succeeded in saving the puppy after a long string of not being successful at doing that. And that uh, gives you a good boost toward uh, lawful alignment. And I think I'm I'm at this point. This is not like NC is in the very bottom bottom right uh, is my alignment. I think NC is like neutral chaotic or something. Um, I'm pretty sure that's good enough though. He will teach uh, the healer that is will teach neutral or lawful characters. So I think I should be good if I just go there and talk to him. Of course, he will uh, ask me to prove my lawfulness first, or prove my my I don't know my good intentions by saving Irigs, the uh, Mad Carpenter, saving or um, killing. That is, I'll try to save him. Uh, I just wanted to go here to you know. Maybe grab a couple of extra spellbooks and stuff. Also, what? An acid trap. Um, oh, okay. Managed to avoid that one. I guess I do have the talent that um, 
makes it easier. Yeah, six cents. Right. Okay, that's yeah. I I figured that's probably very helpful. I decided to not give this character my usual uh, speed treatment, but I will, I guess. The next couple flash call. What? That seems dangerous. Uh oh. Okay, it is critically damaged. It is not dead, though. Really? Wait, is it running away? No? Okay, the second one actually... Or the third one, it shrugged off. Hmm. I see, and you are... Garg gargantuan red. Okay. Not T. Um... Okay, there we go. That was a bit scary. Okay, also, also worth a lot of experience. So, yeah, I don't know. What was I even saying? I guess we are at level 6, and... Um, slightly more dangerous creatures can and will show up here. Unfortunately, this particular floor was kind of uneventful. Or should I say, fortunately. Don't run away, you coward. There we go. Sling, eh. So I will finish off this floor just because I can. Yeah. Not because I expect anything anything good out of it. I guess I'm not going to make my way back up. I almost didn't see that one. Several items. Also, uh, a dog. A big dog. It's not particularly dangerous. What was this? Heart girdle. Um, probably not better than my mithril girdle, but maybe I'll give it a try carefully. Um, well, I don't know. Should I risk? Should I risk putting on a potentially bad girdle? Girdle of Strength. Ooh, Strength plus one. Well. Is that worth giving up two points of armor? Maybe. One extra point of Strength. Does give me a bit more carrying capacity. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's worth it. Uh, I will... Go back up, as I said. Okay, in between orcs and a bat. Oh, the bat is not actually hostile. Well. Pixie is killed, giving me a lot of money. Iron ration, well, I suppose I might as well eat it. Could probably kill a rattling. Yeah. Um, maybe even a raider. Uh, you know what? Let's not risk it. Bundle of six arrows. Okay. I guess I could start shooting a, a few arrows. What was that? An arrow barely misses me. A bling talk appears. I'm pretty sure I've already eaten a blink dog corpse quite recently. But I might as well eat another one. I don't think that does anything. Oh, a large ration. Wait, an arrow missed me, you say. Okay. Not sure where that came from. Feeling of danger passes. Kick. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm not going to stick around. I'm really surprised I haven't seen any layers. Because, I don't know, I typically... Or it seemed like I got one every other floor, almost. When I was just going up and down floors. Looking for stuff. Of 
course, layers can be pretty dangerous, but uh, on a relatively or in a relatively uh, tame dungeon like this one. Oh, a longsword! That might be exactly what I was looking for, and I'm already burdened again. Hmm. Well, let's see if it's any good. Uh, longsword. Plus three to hit. 1d8. I mean, I guess. 1d8 plus four damage. While berserking. Hmm. Well. Oh, I'll have to kick this down. It's always a bit scary. Oh, except was perfectly fine here. I should be able to kill this bug. I do feel relatively safe with my armor. Okay. Large shield. Hmm. I mean, my small shield is pretty good, actually. It's quite good. A large shield might be better. I guess it's it has potential to be better. Could also be cursed and screw me over, but. Plus two, five, one. Uh, I guess that's worth it. That gives me an extra point of armor and dodge. And one less to hit. But, yeah, I think that's worth it. Large pet corpse. Uh, I guess I can drop some stuff. Yeah, like the dagger. And the small shield. Still burdened. Well, I mean... Yeah, so I, I should be able to still get that extra point of strength. One more point of strength. Actually, I haven't, I haven't uh, gotten any strength ups in a long time. And there's a the spellbook of Frostball. Awesome. Oh, okay. Pitch black. Uh, yeah, sure. I have to explore this room anyway. Might as well do it. Now, something's lying on the ground. An orange potion. Okay. Maybe it's orange juice. I hit something and slay it. Cool. Gloves. Mm -hmm. Okay, something fails to hurt me twice. Something behind me that I killed, or, well, it was north of me. But didn't drop anything. Alright. Oh, the Rattling Fencer disarmed me. God damn it. Um, yep. There's my long sword. Yeah, okay. Don't fight fencers in melee. It's not worth it. I wonder if my fencing gloves give me a chance to also disarm my enemies? I haven't seen that happening, although I must say that I probably... Well, first of all, I, I'm not really... I haven't been fighting uh, armed enemies with my weapon much. And even if I did, I probably didn't really pay attention. Um, speaking of gauntlets, though, or gloves, I did find other gloves... I wonder if it's worth even trying to put them on, because these are so good. Uh, of course, whatever I found might be better. No, it's not. I don't know, should I... Derp. Uh, should I put my other girdle back on for extra armor? I probably don't need to. Things it's it's just so good. I also think Mithril might be resistant to corrosion, which is always good. I shouldn't give that uh, other that that teak wand another try to make sure I actually did try it. I also want to drink this orange potion, carrot juice. That's kind of what I thought. Okay. I should also should not be running ar around berserking. 
like I often do on actual you know, fighter characters. I have to remember that this is not a fighter primarily. Oh, that's convenient. Hi, one of these mini layers. Actually, okay, uh, magic missile is plus, uh, plus 10, that's nice. But yeah, these are just rats, even though they're the minions of a were rat, most likely. But I can just slaughter them and use them to train my weapon skill pretty safely, like I just did. Potion of healing, okay, useful. Piece of raw meat. Um, I guess I'm going to eat that right away. Potion of booze. Yeah, I'm not sure if that has any uses. Cloves. Thanks, but no thanks. A wooden shield. Nah. Jekyll is killed by something. Okay. By the cobalt, maybe? Okay, here we have some kind of outlaw. Rusty gauntlets. Hmm. Are they rusty because they were hit by a water trap, or...? Is that just a special flavor of gauntlet? That's intriguing. Hmm. But they're not just... they're just not particularly good. Well... I mean, I guess any... any of these basic kinds of items that actually gives you armor is relatively decent for early game, but, you know, obviously mine are still better. Third floor, let's go up. Uh, claw bug. Those are reasonably dangerous, but well, in insofar as they can actually deal some damage. But they also die pretty, pretty easily. Uh... Have I seen any messages? Oh. Dark place, huh? I would kind of like to clean out another lair before I leave this dungeon. Just because that's satisfying to do. <laughs> Not because I think that... Huh, I mean, I have been getting a lot of experience, just slowly but surely. So I guess I... I could stick around for one more level, not that I need to, because um, in case I haven't uh, made that clear, I am planning to go back up to the uh, to the village dungeon and try to save the carpenter. I hope that passing time somewhere else does not actually uh, get him killed, but even then, I guess retrieving his corpse is still good enough for the healer uh, to tell me uh, to, to teach me. The healing spell? Healing, healing skill, my god. Kick. Okay. I mean, I guess I have, see have been seeing a couple of these rat layers, and I keep forgetting that I want to actually just kill them with my weapon. Maybe not the wear rat itself, if it's still around. I don't think I killed it. Did I? Oh, huh, it's not here anyway. Okay, those are just red corpses. Um, well, since this is, the this is the first floor and there doesn't seem to be another layer on this one, because I might as well keep going down. Or, ah, oh, okay, there we go. Certain tension. That's what I was looking for. Let's go back to Coward until I actually found it. I should probably also rest until I uh, get a little bit more health back. Although, I mean, 72 is more than my maximum was before the stat change happened. So, in that regard, 
I don't really need to be too careful. Hold on. Oh, my st my strength. Yeah, awesome. Strength just went up. And it's still, you know, unfortunate that 15 or 14 uh, is my maximum strength. That's it. What it is, what it is. Horseman zombie. Hmm. Fails to hurt me. I mean, yeah, nine armor is just very decent for this point in the game, I feel. Light cloak. Um, my leather cloak is not that great, so maybe the light cloak is better. To, to dodge? Yeah, I guess that's better. That's actually a lot better. Do I keep the Mithril Girdle around? Two armor is two armor. <sighs> the Girdle of Strength does not give any protection. Is the extra point of strength actually work it, uh, worth it? I wonder. Ultimately, it probably isn't. <sighs> but I don't know. I, I'm a sucker for actual stats up. Uh, stats up? Stat ups. Oh, okay. Another door that I can actually unlock. It's not the lair. I wonder if it can ever be. Hmm. Okay, before I go into this dark room, I want to see if the lair is maybe over here. Also, what the hell is this? A griffin. Okay. Not entirely sure how dangerous that is. Apparently not that dangerous. Griffin corpse. Ah. <sighs> No idea what that does, if anything. I mean, technically, a griffin is just an animal. Even though it's one that does not exist in real life, but... It shouldn't be intrinsically magical, right? Let's just eat it. Crispy, good. Mm. Not sure why the corpse was crispy without being fried or anything, but... Let's not question that. Also, was I really running around it as Berserker again? I need to stop doing that. That's a Lucrata, I think. No, a Displacer Beast. Uh, how dangerous are these at this point? Maybe not that bad. Should I try fighting one with my sword? I kind of feel like doing that. I miss. It fails to hurt me. I hit it moderately wounded. They do attack quickly, that's for sure. I miss. It fails to hurt me, fails to hurt me. I miss. Fails to hurt me, fails to hurt me. I hit and slay it. Okay. Uh, do I want to eat this? No, not while I'm satiated. I don't think. This is probably the lair? I don't know. I have this Larry feeling about this door. Sure enough, and it's cobalt. I mean, it usually is. Although I have seen a couple of more unusual mixed variety, enemy variety. Um, uh, let's actually kill the the cobalt chieftain like like this. Um, yeah, variety layers with a very wild assortment of of different enemies, even on these early levels. So it's possible. There we go. Sword skill up. Okay, we got some kind of cut purse. Yep. Oh wow, there are a lot more. And that is that. Awesome. Yeah, not worth a ton of experience, although a little bit, but definitely worth a lot in, in terms of training my weapon skill, which is in fact already up to plus two. So that's cool. I still have not been using my um, missile weapon at all. Oh wow. Speaking of bows... Um, 
This one bow that's by itself might mean that it's actually good. Or it could be really bad and cursed. The ones that do stack are most likely not very good. But they're also probably not terrible and cursed, so I don't know. I guess I'll just tr give them all a try. Just to make sure. We do have another large shield. Hmm. And lots of arrows, of course. Do I try the shield? I feel like the shield I'm using is pretty good. I keep saying that, right? <laughs> and I always end up... Oh, wow. Uh, always end up... Trying everything anyway. I mean, my, my current bow is, is crap, so... That one... Oh, okay, those are the same, apparently. Um, I wonder why it doesn't stack with the other ones. Hmm. Oh, it stacks with that. So one of the two stacks must be must be blessed then, because they're obviously not cursed. Hmm. Interesting. And that one is the cursed one. Yep. God damn it. Well, at least I I didn't get a better uh, I didn't get a worse one than I had, and eventually I'll. I'll discover the uh, scroll of uncurse. Yeah, it's it's not bad. <sighs> this uh, it's yeah I don't know I I'm not a huge fan of these messes of individual arrows with tiny variations of of uh, damage and hit enchantments, but it's what it is. I guess there is really no better way to handle it. Not that I can think of, anyway. Thankfully, the game takes care of managing my arrows for me by just providing me, or just, just offering me to equip the next stack once one is used up. You know. So there is that. Uh, is there anything else? I feel like... The, oh, yeah. Lots of stuff, actually. I did not mean to drop... Uh, to unequip that. I did mean to drop the extra bows yep and I guess I'll try this shield uh, where is it large shield plus two five one I feel like it's that's probably about as good as it gets yeah this is a minus one five one and it's not cursed yay okay still burdened and I don't actually have a reason to be burdened right now what is it that's burdening me? I mean, I have, I'm have i carrying a good amount of weight just for my missiles. That's for sure. Potions. Hmm. I mean, technically I don't need the potion of cure poison, but then potions weigh almost nothing. Oh, a spellbook of frostbolt. I'm an idiot. I never actually read that. I've probably been screaming at the screen. Well, maybe not. Okay. Let's fix that. Yes. Two, three, four. Nice. Four reads is, is very decent. That puts me back up above a thousand, which is certainly a decent amount. But as far as I'm aware, there is no upper limit, so I'll gladly take even more. Why don't I shoot you, Necromancer? You didn't drop anything for me. Lame. Oh, I did not mean to climb down, actually. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to stick around a bit longer than I wanted to. Speaking of that, of episode length, <laughs> or, you know, rather, speaking of spending time here um, and looking at the, at the recording timer, it looks like maybe this entire episode is just going to be Infinite Dungeon, you know, screwing around and not really achieving all that much. But, you know, it's good old, honest to god, dungeon diving, which is kind of what this game is all about. I mean, okay, this particular roguelike is also about the grand, grander storyline and, you know, 
ultimately achieving some kind of ending. But that's a very, very, I don't know, nebulous goal to me. A very vague and abstract thing. It's certainly not the main reason I'm playing this, because, you know, certainly don't expect to... I don't expect to ever win this game. If I do, uh, all the better, but I'm not holding my breath. For me, it's mostly about the journey, and... Okay, if I was sure that the thing paralyzed me there. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, eyes are always scary. Okay, this one's leading me upwards. And will we get one final layer? Leather girdle. Uh, press wand, okay. That burdened me. Of course it did. There's another... A rune cover too. Hmm. So, what is that? Slow poison. Uh, okay, I mean, sure. I guess it's good to have that. It certainly is. Do I need it? Not necessarily. Then again... I will eventually run out, or I might eventually run out of uh, poison curing items, so having this as a spell always available is definitely useful. 672 casts is hopefully a bit more than I'll ever need to unpoison myself. Although slow poison, I mean, I guess this is just taken from the name of the D&D spell, which uh, I guess y used to originally really only slow down poison to allow you to reach a healer in town or something. But, um, well, at least in, in the implementation in Baldur's Gate that I've been playing recently, uh, I think... That uses second edition. I'm really not uh, not that knowledgeable about uh, Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, yeah, at least in that game, the way it works is that slow poison actually cures poison. I guess slows it to the point of not being dangerous anymore. Uh, assuming that it works similarly here, maybe it has a chance to, or maybe reduce poison strength. I guess um, poison does come in in different and danger levels in this game. So maybe that's how it works. I guess I'll give it a try uh, uh, whenever I become poisoned next time. Hopefully never, but... Who knows? Uh, experience? Uh, yeah. I mean, again, I could stick around here until the next level up, but I really don't need to. Oh, hi there. You are a fire vortex. V vortex vortex. Oh, it's shrugging off the bolt though. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Should probably also be using my uh, frost bolt a bit more. I mean, uh, yeah, I really should, and keep some, save some magic missiles for uh, frost resistant enemies. Because those exist. For example, the cavemen that you occasionally see in these earlier levels, uh, they are resistant to frost specifically. At least they, it certainly feels like it. Other spells seem to work better against them. So right now I'm... I guess I'm really just looking for the exit. Like right here. That is a fencer. And as we have determined, right, I still have my sheet, uh, my my sword. Yep, everything's fine. As we have determined earlier, we don't want to fight fencers in melee because disarming is just annoying. Okay, and here we are. Uh, so yeah, infant dungeon is down here, and well, there's one more thing that I could do that I have been doing a lot actually. Um, another thing to help you to help a chaotic character become neutral or uh, even lawful 
is to kill certain NPCs in the uh, outlaw settlement. Not this one. Well, that's, that was, a, was not a settlement at all, but in uh, this one. Specifically that uh, the Bennett leader, Hots and Plots, um, there's a quest that you get from the sheriff. Oh, the store is not usually open. So yeah, Hudson plus the crime lord. Um, Cutpurs does not care about me yet. Most of the criminals in the settlement will turn hostile when you attack Hudson plots and his guardians, uh, but not the uh, not the shopkeeper here, which is the important one. Hmm, I guess I'll just wait until they line up and shoot them. Although. I have read that uh, actually attacking them unprovoked will reduce your alignment, but if you hit them accidentally, so to speak, by aiming behind them and just, you know, yeah, aiming behind them and hitting them on accident, although of course they're actually too far away to be hit. Oh, what doesn't hit anything? Um, in that case, you don't take that alignment hit? I don't know. Okay, I missed him, but I think he's hostile now. Yep, sure enough. So now it's perfectly fine to actually attack. Of course, these are still very dangerous, especially Hudson Plots himself. However, he's actually already dead. Yeah, I mean, they're dangerous, but so am I. What can I say? They drop a ton of money too, especially the man himself. So, uh, yeah, I should be able to go tell the sheriff the good deed and he is going to give me an item in return that of course this particular character doesn't need anymore but oh, oh apparently killing the crime lord already um, gives you a, an alignment boost so I'm now a negative minus so I'm definitely good in terms of um, being able to learn the healing skill but I want to talk to the sheriff anyway. Hello there, good sir. Yep, Krennic is gone. Right, vanquished a dangerous foe. Nice. And he gives me this amulet, which is an amulet of... Uh, what's it actually called? Amulet of... not balance, I think. Well, you don't identify it, but it's always the same that that he gives you. And that amulet shifts your alignment toward lawful, slowly but surely. On a, a still chaotic, chaotic character, it actually hurts you. Um, you actually take a point of damage every couple of turns, which, especially for a character who does not have the healing skill, uh, might actually be uh, enough to... or might be too much to be offset by the normal healing. But it is a way to make yourself more lawful. On characters that are neutral, it only itches, but doesn't actually hurt. And of course, it really doesn't do much on a character who is already lawful. So, I mean, I mean technically, I don't need to be wearing this at all. But all it's going to do is give me this chat message every now and then. Which, you know, is like, whatever. All right, these guys are hostile now. Hmm. I mean, as an outlaw leader, he's probably a reasonably dangerous, so... Let's... Frostbolt him? What? No, I don't want to leave. There we go. That's what I want to do. In a way, I would like to... Kill him with my sword, but it's probably a bad idea. Outlaw leader corpse... I guess I can take this one to the sheriff, too. Just for some extra cash. You are not caring about me. Hmm. How strange. Oh. 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 oh okay. Hold on a sec. Would you please line up nicely? Very good. Okay. Yeah. I guess killing the uh, killing the crime lord and his henchmen gave me a good amount of experience too. Are you hostile? What? Oh. I did. 
non uh, not mean to attack you. But cut purses are, of course, no problem to kill. Normal outlaw, I should be able to defeat bandits as well. What was that? Uh, yeah, okay. Shop bell. Anyone else wants wants trouble? No. The mad doctor over here does not turn hostile, for what it's worth. I guess allowing you to do a quest for him. Oh, these are not actually. Ho that one was hostile, apparently. An enormous tome. Still only weighs a hundred. What is that? Stun ray spell. Oh, that sounds good. Learn. I don't like this guy being so close to me there. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, and it disappeared. Stun ray, huh? Okay. Range three. Damage 9, okay. I assume it has a chance to stun, which sounds really useful. I've never seen that spell before. Uh, so that would be 3 and E. Yeah. I put invisibility on 5, although it's technically not... I don't need that hotkey. That or slow poison. Okay, you're dead now. A saber. Hmm. I mean, my longsword is not amazing. And I guess saber uses the same weapon skill. So I might as well check that out at least. Uh, plus one, 1d6 plus two. So that's technically better damage. Uh, although, longsword does give extra two more points of hit bonus. Hmm. I mean, normally, dealing more damage is more valuable than than hitting. I mean, hitting is, is kind of necessary in order to find enemies, sure. But um, more often than not, you have trouble hitting or damaging enemies through their armor. Whereas uh, a good hit bonus you can achieve through, you know, weapon skill and and berserking. Uh, I don't know. Ultimately, I just don't know. I mean, Saber is not its own category, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That must belong to swords. Hmm. Should I? Should I... use a Saber? I guess. Saber is more interesting than a, than a sword. I really wanted to come here to... Uh, check out the shop. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. There's no reason for that. Uh, should I eat iron ration? Oh, I have this. I have the outlaw leader corpse. It's also weighing me down. Uh, yeah, let's eat the iron rations. I have plenty of lightweight food to keep me satiated. Um, back to coward, and let's see what you have here. Invisibility? Ooh, invisibility? I don't need that. St oh, okay. You actually have a spellbook of stunray. Interesting. Light? Kind of useless. Teleportation? Why hello there? Magic missile? Hmm. I mean, these are ludicrously expensive, but I do have the money for it. Uh, what? Why did I take off my leather armor exactly? Oh, because I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press V. Uh, to check my money. 6,000. So I can, I could buy both the teleportation and magic missile books. Uncursing. Huh. Yeah. 
But that's actually a bit too expensive. Potion of healing. One of digging can be very useful. Hmm. Oh wow, well, that's a 1d6 plus 4 damage. For 1600? I don't know if that's worth it, honestly. Potion of water. 250. Hmm. I could sell him one of my my uh, normal potions of water and see what the price difference is. And maybe, I don't know, this might be holy water, but it seems a, a bit too cheap for holy water. In fact, it's so cheap that it's probably unholy water. I wonder. Um, oh. Wait, what? I used to know that one of my potions of water was good. Why is that? Why do I not have that assessment anymore? Well, it used to be the uh, the uh, one that was higher up in the list. I hope that's still the same. Hmm. Let's sell the other one. Four gold pieces, sure. And now it sells for 252. Okay, so that seems to be normal water. Yeah, you know what? Let's get teleportation. What? You saw that, yeah, I know. And magic missile. I have never tried attacking a shopkeeper. And I'm not going to do it now. It's just something that I've been thinking about. Um, because that's obviously a, it's a possibility, it's an option that you have, although it's, uh, it seems very, very unwise. Uh, I could try to haggle, but I'm very bad at haggling, so chances are I'm going to make these more expensive, and yeah, let's not do that. Alright, I guess I'm going to do some reading, magic missile. Are you not caring about me? Hmm. Okay. Read. Ah, oh, really? Only twice? Hmm. That's kind of lame. Wow, that hardly gave me anything. That was a waste of money. Oh well. Okay, well. I kind of expected the teleportation book to not last very long. Oh, recipes. Um, not what I wanted to know, game. Teleportation, 26 pp, okay. Range 1? How exactly does this work? I do have teleport control. I wonder if normally teleportation just works as a blink, basically. Hmm. Which direction? Okay, so you just choose a direction? I don't see a suitable... What? Oh, I have to target myself. That's that's a range, probably. Okay. Um, 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 F myself? Uh, you teleport. Move the cursor to the desired position and press space. Oh, move up and down stairs, too? That sounds incredibly useful. Can I teleport anywhere on the map? Press space. Wow, I totally, totally do. Bandit misses me. Hi. And you? You're peaceful. Okay. Good for you. Uh, I'm getting hungry again. Wow, this teleportation seems incredibly good. I guess it's really only that good because I have teleport control, but still. Um... Do I want to do? I guess I could eat something. That's that would be a good start. I could eat the outlaw leader. I'm not sure how much money he's worth. Uh, or I could eat another iron ration because it's so heavy. I should also really end the episode. Uh, let's let's turn in the the corpse. Hopefully the sheriff is still hanging around down here. Yep. Okay, I actually have to give the body to him. Slightly rotten. I hope that doesn't matter. 
100 gold pieces. Eh. Not worth it. Should have just eaten him. That's fine. Well, with that, um, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to head into the village dungeon and see if we can uh, save the carpenter and most importantly actually learn the healing skill, which is the main reason I want to attempt that in the first place. And yeah, well, we'll see if that works, how that works out. And if this character will actually survive to head out and seek more adventure past this this easternmost uh, section of the Dracolor chain for the very first time. Kind of exciting. Um, yeah, uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.